22 on the season next to the last game of the season for the Eagles. And they're hoping to get their first win since November 4th. Opening tip off and a loose ball and still a loose ball. And finally, Embry Riddle gains control of it. Christmas Togi Eye with it. Riddle in the gray and Park University in the maroon. Togi Eye with the pass over to Luke Dunn. Dunn looking for someone to get the ball to. And finally gets it over to Togi Eye. Four seconds left on the shot clock. Togi Eye off the glass. It's good. Ho, ho, ho. Christmas Togi Eye gives Riddle the early lead two to nothing. Nice glass work there by Togi Eye. And now it's Park with the ball. Bingham gets it over to number 25, Norsworthy. Now making his move, number 11, Kelton Williams. From the corner, that's number 22, Carson Mut- Carson Mattoon. No good on that shot. And Embry-Riddle gets the ball back. One-handed shot by Trevor Weir, and Weir with the good bounce for two. And Riddle on top, four to nothing. Park University with the ball. Kelton Williams moves inside. He's cut off by the Riddle defense. Gets it over to Mattoon. Now from the corner for three. It's good. Number 12, Jacob Bingham, the sharpshooter. Pulling Park to within one of Embry-Riddle. It's 4-3, to 8.20 left to go in the first half. Connor Verdugo with the ball. He hands it off to Togiai. Now over to Dunn. David Tebow inside, trying to get around Mattoon. Now shooting over Mattoon, and Tebow puts it through for two. And it's 6-3 to three in favor of Riddle. Mattoon with it, gets that one over to Williams. Now loose ball on the inside. Riddle almost steals it away, bringing it under control is Mueller. And Mueller, one-handed shot, in and out of the basket. Rebounded by Trevor Weir. Now to Verdugo. Pass over to Togiai. Gets it out to Verdugo for three. No good off the rim. And Verdugo almost got the rebound. Almost went out of bounds. Saving that one was Norsworthy. Norsworthy off the glass. No good. Rebounded by Verdugo. Gets it over to Togiai. Togiai bounce pass inside to Weir. Weir trying to get the shot off the glass, but denied by Carson Mattoon. And now it's Park University ball. Riddle up 6-3. 17-15 left to go in the first half. For three, it's good! Jacob Bingham with his second tray of the night, and we're all tied up at six. Connor Verdugo with the ball for Embry-Riddle. Verdugo moving around the arc, gets it over to Togiai. Steps inside, now backs out over to Verdugo, inside to Tebow. Now to Dunn for three. No good, but David Tebow gets the rebound. Loses the ball, and it falls right in the hands of Mattoon. And now Bingham with it. Back to Mattoon. Bingham, pass on the inside. The jumper. It's good by number 32, Craig Mueller. The Tico Washington native gives Park the 8-6 lead. We're on the inside. Turning, shooting, not scoring, but David Tebow gets the rebound, and Tebow puts it in for two. And we're tied at eight. 16.09 left to go in the first half. Kelton Williams with the ball for Park University. Now gets that one over to Norsworthy. Back to Williams, stepping inside, cut off by Dunn. And now the jumper by Mueller, no good. Rebounded by Embry-Riddle, Togiai. Connor Verdugo coming inside, kicks that one out to Dunn, over to Togiai. Now on the inside of Dunn, turns, shoots, off the rim, no good, loose ball, and it's picked up by Norsworthy. Norsworthy cut off by Verdugo, coming to the baseline, gets that one out to Bingham for three, it's good! The sharpshooter strikes again! And Park goes up 11-8. to eight. 15 19 left to go in the first half. Connor Verdugo with the ball for Embry Riddle. Gets that one over to Dunn. 
Pass on the inside to Tebow. Feeds it to Weir. Weir under the basket. Knocked down by Bingham. And Park gets the ball. Williams with it. Norsworthy for three. Off the rim, no good. Verdugo, actually, correction, that's Luke Dunn who came up with that rebound. Now it gets it over to Connor Verdugo. Christmas Togiai. Looking for someone to get it to. Norsworthy right in his face. Now hands it off to Verdugo. On the inside of Weir. Weir driving to the basket, taking the one-handed shot. No good, but David Tebow gets the rebound. In and out of the basket. And it's rebounded by Mattoon. Kelton Williams racing inside. Now Norsworthy comes inside. Feeds it intercepted by Embry Riddle. Luke Dunn. And he gets it over to Togiai. Togiai gets hung up on Norsworthy. And it looks like we're going to get our first foul of the afternoon. John Norsworthy, the third, coming up with the foul on that one. Togiai inside, taking the shot, no good, and rebounded by Mueller. Now over to Kelton Williams. 14 minutes remaining in the first half. Over to Norsworthy. Now just kind of passing around the ball is Park University. Long distance three, it's good! Jacob Bingham strikes again from beyond the arc. 14-8 14-8 Park, Verdugo driving the basket, and Verdugo gets nailed for the charge. Thirteen forty-one remaining here in the first half. Park with the ball. That is Bingham. Bingham, who has just been terrorizing Embry-Riddle tonight. Bingham again for three. Misses on that one. Loose ball, and it goes right back to Bingham. Now again for three. Off the rim and rebounded by Togiai. Here comes Embry-Riddle down the court. Dunn over to Verdugo. Verdugo thought about a three. Moves inside. The jumper. It's good. Connor Verdugo. And timeout called by Embry Riddle. 13. And a lot going to be riding on Bingham tonight as two of the Buccaneers' top scorers, Trail Bates and Eric Palmer, are unavailable to play. So those are two big losses for Park University in their lineup. Palmer averaging 15.4 points per game. Trail Bates averaging 10.2 points tonight. Bingham, he's certainly been uh, picking up the slack here. But a lot of other guys are going to have to contribute tonight with those two out. Norsworthy feeds it inside. Turning and shooting and getting it off the glass for two is Craig Mueller. And it's 16-10 Park. Verdugo for three. No good. Who's going to get the rebound? And that is number 10, Jake Klingler, pulling it in. And a three-pointer. Ambry Riddle nailing the tray. And it's 16-12 in favor of Park. Actually, correction, they're going to call that a two for Embry-Riddle. Speaking of threes, coming up short on that one is Bingham. Riddle with the ball, Verdugo. And inside to Solis. Now the jumper, it's good by Klingler! Jake Klingler pulls the Eagles to within two. It's 16-14 now. The Buccaneers hanging on to a slim lead, almost intercepted by Koziak. That pass, Norsworthy with it for the Buccaneers. Moves inside, cut off. Gets that one over to Mattoon. Kelton Williams giving a little shove there to Verdugo. No dice. Rebounding it is Park. But Solis 
has the ball hit off his hand. And now to Klingler, and Klingler gets the basket and gets fouled. A great transition for Embry Riddle to tie the game. And now Klingler with a chance to put the Eagles on top as it'll be a three point play for him. And timeout called by Park Union track and field teams. And well, when you're at those small schools and you're athletic, you're gonna be playing a lot of sports. Klingler successful on the three point play and Embry Riddle regains the lead at 17-16. Kelton Williams with the ball for the Buccaneers. Now it gets that one over to Mattoon. Bingham, back to Mattoon, now over to Williams. Now back and forth the ball goes between Mattoon and Williams. Now on the inside to Mueller. Turning, shooting, and scoring is Craig Mueller. And Park back on top, 18-17. Verdugo with the ball for Riddle. Dishes that one off to Klingler for three. It's good! Jake Klingler from three-point land gives the Eagles the 20-18 lead. 10-40 remaining in the first half. Nice back and forth game we have here between these two squads. Norsworthy, top of the key for three. No good off the rim. But getting the rebound is Mueller, who loses it. And Carter Koziak gets the steal. Now over to Connor Verdugo. Verdugo trying to split the defense. Now backs out around the top of the key. Over to Koziak. Bounce pass on the inside of Solis. One-handed pass to Koziak. Back to Solis. Double teamed. Tried to take the shot. And it looks like Solis got fouled for his troubles. Daniel Lewis Lewis gets dinked. Actually, that was Craig Mueller who got called for the foul. Connor Verdugo will inbound for the Eagles with 10-11 left to go. For three, Chase Verdugo, no good off the rim. Rebounded by his brother, Connor Verdugo. And Connor Verdugo kind of getting roughed up there under the basket. I think that's going to be Kylan Shorts who gets called for the foul. Actually, correction, they're going to call it on Norsworthy. Well, Norsworthy and uh, Shorts were both in on kind of knocking around Verdugo, so it's going to be one of the two. Klingler to chase Verdugo. Round around the ball goes. Koziak to Verdugo on the inside to Klingler. Koziak for three. It's good. Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Celebrate your hometown hero because he just extended the riddle lead to 23 to 18. Now with the ball, Mattoon. Coming inside, that's gonna be Shorts. But we get a whistle on the play. Connor Verdugo gonna get dinged for the foul there for Embry Riddle. Four fouls so far for Park University and two for Embry Riddle. Mattoon to take it out, gets it over to Mueller. Shorts. Coming inside is Bingham, and Bingham puts it in for two. Jacob Bingham continues his deadly shooting tonight. 23-20 the score, parked down by three. Christmas Togiai with it for Riddle. Chase Verdugo back to Togiai. Klingler to Verdugo, long range three, it's good! Chase Verdugo! Another tray for Riddle, and it's 26-20 Eagles. Loose ball, and almost stolen by Koziak. And now it's a drowning pool moment as the bodies hit the floor. One season, he nailed 85 three-pointers. Impressive. Shorts with it for the Bucks. Norsworthy moves inside, one-handed shot off the glass, no good, loose ball, out of bounds, and that will be Park University possession. Kelton Williams now into the game for the Bucks. 
Coming out is John Norsworthy the third. Williams will inbound. 26-20, Eagles on top. Bingham guarded by Chase Verdugo in the corner. Now Mueller the shot. And doesn't get the good bounce right there to get the rebound. David Tebow, long pass Togi out to Chase Verdugo. Back to Togi Eye. On the inside of Tebow. Tebow gets it out to Chase Verdugo. Back to Togi Eye. Klingler for three. No good. Loose ball. And Chase Verdugo gets the rebound. Feeds it to Koziak for three. That one is good. Carter Koziak. And it's a 29-20 lead for the Eagles. 8.05 to go in the first half. Shorts. Now Bingham moving inside through the paint, loses the ball, but Mueller gets it for Park. Turn, shoots, and Mueller gets fouled. Craig Mueller going to go up to the free throw line for Park. David Tebow picking up the foul for Embry Riddle. First shot by Mueller, and that one is successful. David Tebow, man, oh man, doing some nice glass work tonight. Tebow already with six rebounds, and David Tebow, he is fifth in the Cal Pack Conference in rebounds per game with 7.3. And Craig Mueller successful on both. Free throws, 29-22, Park trailing by seven. All right, forgive me for the pause, folks. I'm not ba- I'm not that good at math. It takes me some time to do it in my head. Koziak gets it over to Tebow. Tebow through traffic off the glass. It's good, David Tebow. 31-22 in favor of the Eagles. Park University with the ball, shorts. And knocking down Tebow is Mueller. He gets the basket. No call on that one. Chase Verdugo for three. It's good. And another three for Embry Riddle. Park University will inbound. They're down 34-24. Seven minutes remain in the first half. Shorts pass over to Williams. Kelton Williams under a double team gets it over to Shorts. Oh, it looks like Shorts palmed the ball. And I'll tell you what, the uh, former Embry-Riddle basketball players loving that, coming out of their seats and cheering. Christmas Togi with the ball past the half-court line. Over to Chase Verdugo. Hands it off to Togi. Togi moving inside. In the paint, taking the shot. It's good! And Togi gets fouled! Kylan Shorts. Getting called for the foul on Christmas. And well, Shorts can expect Cole in his stocking on that one as Togiai goes for the three point play. He connects. And it's 37 24 in favor of Embry Riddle. 6 36 to go in the first half. Park with the ball. Shorts. And knocked out of the hands of number 22, Mattoon. Oh, man, and Klingler going over the back there on number 32, Mueller. Well, that's a no-no as uh, Klingler trying to do a great imitation of Superman's cape on Mueller. Non-shooting foul. Jacob Bingham back in the game for the Bucks, And Bingham has the ball. Gets that one over to Mattoon. Norsworthy 
Nine seconds left on the shot clock. Togiai almost at the interception. Bingham for three. It's good. Jacob Bingham draining another three for the Bucks. 37-27, parked down by 10. Six minutes left to go in the first half. Chase Verdugo gets bumped into by Williams. No call on that. Verdugo misses on the shot. Mattoon bounces it over to Bingham. Norsworthy almost loses that one. Gets around Verdugo in the paint, taking the shot. It's good, and they're going to say Ver- they're going to say there was a foul on that one to Norsworthy. Koziak picks up the foul for the Eagles. Norsworthy will head up to the free throw line for the Buccaneers. Trevor Weir and Luke Dunn back in the game for the Eagles. Norsworthy, a sophomore from Phoenix, Arizona, graduate of Mountain Point High School. Misses on that one. Goes out of bounds. It will be possession Embry-Riddle. Togiai with it for the Eagles. And it looks like Carter Koziak gets called for a foul as he bumped into a player. Koziak not happy with that at all. He lets the Eagles know it. That coach Eric Fundalevich also not happy. Carter Koziak, man, he is he's kind of steaming right now. It looked kind of like incidental contact to me. Either way, play continues. Park University with the ball. Norsworthy. Now Norsworthy for three. And a rainbow shot right into the basket. And the Buccaneers inch ever closer. It's 37-32. Riddle still on top. Tebow from the top of the key. Moving inside. Out to number 14 for the Eagles. Jack Berg misses on that one, but Weir with the rebound in the paint. Kicks it out to Dunn. Togiai. And Togiai gets run into by Kelton Williams. And I think the Riddle fans have been waiting for that one. Second foul tonight for Williams. Riddle to inbound. It'll be Luke Dunn. 4.56 to go in the first half. Eagles up. 37-32, David Tebow with the ball. On the inside to Dunn, Dunn off the glass, no good, rebounded by Weir, and Weir gets the basket and gets the foul. John Norsworthy the third, kind of hanging on Weir. And that is foul number three for Norsworthy, he'll take a seat. Up to the free throw line, it's Trevor Weir. Weir gets the good bounce and completes the three point play. The Temecula, California native makes it a 40 32 lead for Riddle. Williams over to Bingham. Bingham moving inside, trying to get around Berg. Feeds that one to Mueller, no good. Mueller gets his own rebound. Another one handed shot off the rim, no good, and rebounded by the rebound master. David Tebow. For three. It's good. Actually, no, they're going to say Tebow had a foot on the line. Either way, it's two points. He made the basket, and it's a 10-point lead for Embry-Riddle, 42-32. Kelton Williams, now over to Bingham, the sharpshooter. Gets that to Mattoon. Bingham for a long range three off the backboard and right there with the rebound again, David Tebow. Togiai feeds it inside to Weir. Now to Berg. Dunn for three. It's good. Luke Dunn. Well done. 45 32 Embry Riddle. Shorts over to Williams. Comes inside. Pass, turning, shooting, and scoring is number 32, Craig Mueller. Mueller. 
45-34, Park trying to play catch up here. Tebow with the ball for the Eagles. Comes inside, turns, shoots, off the glass. It's good! David Tebow making it 47-34 in favor of Riddle. Kelton Williams with the ball for the Bucks. On the inside, Mueller jumper in and out of the basket, rebounded by Trevor Weir. Gives the ball over to Christmas Togiai with 2.55 left to go in the first half. David Tebow comes inside, spins, shoots, and falls to the floor. And helped up by Carson Mattoon in a show of good sportsmanship. Craig Mueller gets dinged for the foul. This brings David Tebow up to the line. Tebow with six points and six rebounds tonight. He makes that shot. Actually, correction on that, uh, David Tebow tonight, 11 points and 8 rebounds. Tebow looking to go 2 for 2 from the stripe. He does. 49-34, Riddle on top. Park with the ball, Williams for 3, Bingham. Skips off the rim, no good. Rebounded by Weir and stolen by Shorts. And now Mueller with the shot. Block called on Embry Riddle. Oh, come on. So, Craig Mueller, that looked way more like a charge than a block to me. And Coach Fundelevich wanting an explanation on that one. And, and I think whatever explanation Coach Fundelevich gets, he's not going to accept it. Can't say I blame him. Mueller up to the line. And Mueller sinks that one. 49 37 the score. Embry Riddle in the lead. Christmas Togiai with it. Gets it over to Tebow. Done. To Berg. Berg from the corner for three. No good. But rebounded by Tebow. Feeds it to Berg, under the basket, turns, shoots, no good, and rebounded by Mattoon. Mattoon on the inside, over to Williams, now Shorts, top of the key, backs out, over to Williams. Shorts pets on the inside to Mueller, in the paint, and traveling the call against Mueller. The Eagles get the ball back. David Tebow. Actually, it looked like he was going to inbound. Instead, they're going to give the duty to Luke Dunn. Over to Christmas Togiai. Dunn with it. Past the half court line. Dunn almost loses the ball. Now over to Togiai. Buck 40 to go in the first half. Oh, guy gets bumped into, no call. Koziak on the inside to Weir. And Weir gets called for a travel. Shorts with the ball. Over to Williams, back to Shorts. Shorts comes in. Oh, they're going to say palming the ball against Shorts. Lucky break there for Embry-Riddle. 49-37. Eagles on top. Luke Dunn with the ball for Embry-Riddle. Now over to Togiai. Togiai past the half-court line. Carter Koziak. Now to T-Ball, to Weir, Weir off the glass, no good, but Trevor Weir going to get fouled as he went up. Jacob Bingham gets hit with his first foul of the evening for Park University. 
Up to the line for Embry-Riddle, it's Trevor Weir. The big 6'7 sophomore from Temecula. And he nails that free throw. Weir, he's averaging 9.5 points per game this season. Second shot from the line coming up for Trevor Weir. And that one's good. 51-37 Eagles. Park with the ball. One minute. One minute to go in the first half. For three shorts. No good. Who's going to get the rebound? It's Weir. Togiai with it now for the Eagles. Over to Chase Verdugo for three. No good. Rebounded by Bingham. Pass on the inside to Mueller through traffic. Knocked away by Weir. And the Eagles get the ball. It's Christmas Togiai. Togiai dashing through the snow in a one-horse open sleigh. He makes the two. 53-37 Embry-Riddle. Shorts with it. 24 seconds left to go in the first half. Williams into the paint. Kicks that one out to Bingham. Williams on the inside, now back to Williams. Bouncer over to Shorts. Bingham for three. Comes up short, rebounded by Weir. Five seconds to go. Togiai gets run into by Shorts. (laughs) Tenth foul of the half on Park University. That'll put Riddle in the double bonus and up to the line, Christmas Togiai. Five points tonight for Togiai. Oh, and still five points. That ball hanging on the rim couldn't make up its mind if it wanted to go in or out. Eventually it decided out. Second shot coming up for Togiai. And that one's good. Jake Klingler back in the game for the Eagles. Four seconds left on the clock here in the first half to Williams. Williams flying down the court. And now Mattoon for three. No good. And that's all she wrote for the first. She can feel their loss tonight. Buccaneers inbound and half number two underway. On the inside of Mueller, double teamed. Through traffic, takes the jumper, off the glass, it's good. A nice bank shot there by Craig Mueller. 54-39 as Park draws first blood in the second half. Luke Dunn with the ball for the Eagles. Gets it over to Connor Verdugo. Bounce pass over to Dunn. On the inside, it tips off the hand of... Carson Mattoon, but actually it looks like they're going to say it caught a piece of Trevor Weir. So it will be possession. Buccaneers has Kelton Williams just lets it roll past the half court line before he picks it up. On the inside to Mueller. Now to Shorts. Shorts at the baseline through traffic. Kicks that one out to Mattoon. Now Mueller with the jumper. It's good. And Mueller gets Park on a 4-0 run here to start things off in the third quarter, in the second half, excuse me. Riddle with the ball, Dunn to Togiai. Back to Dunn. Dunn, I think he thought about a three. Now gets it off to Connor Verdugo. He goes for three. No good. Rebounded by Mattoon. Kelton Williams gets it back to Mattoon. Now over to Bingham. Williams, getting the park offense set up, over to Shorts. Now to Mattoon. 10 seconds left on the shot clock. Williams with the jumper, no good. And rebounded by Mattoon. Gets shouldered by Tebow, play continues. Bingham with it. Over to Mueller, 
traveling called on Mueller. 18-12 left to go in the second half. It's 54-41 in favor of Embry-Riddle. Eagles will inbound. Togi eye over to Connor Verdugo. Verdugo past the half court line for the Eagles. Now Dunn. Dunn, double team to the corner. Feeds it to Weir. Weir turns, shoots, he scores! Trevor Weir makes it a 56 41 Eagle lead. Kelton Williams at the ball for Park. Bingham. Now over to Williams. Shorts with it. Shorts moves inside. Cut off by Tebow. Now Mueller to Shorts. Shorts coming in. Turns. Shoots. Denied by Weir. And the ball bounces off the rim on a second attempt by Park. Tebow with the rebound. Gets it over to Verdugo. Driving the baseline. Weir. Or excuse me, Dunn. Reverse layup attempt, no good. Tebow with the rebound. That shot, no good. Ball loose on the floor, and the bodies hit the floor. And a jump ball called. Man, oh man. Kind of a sponge moment there. A world of human wreckage. And now I have that song going through my head. Not going to sing it, though, because I'm a terrible singer. Eagles will inbound to Togiai. Connor Verdugo thought about a three. Back to Togiai. To Dunn for a three. No good. Loose ball. And it's won by Park. Bingham to Shorts. Williams now back to Shorts. Mueller on the inside to Mattoon. Back to Mueller. The shot. And I think Weir got a finger on that ball. Now to Weir. Weir. Oh, tried the dunk and no good. Park with the ball. Shorts. Gets it over to Mueller. Turns. Shoots. Doesn't score. Rebounding it is Mattoon to Williams. Williams loses it. Togi, I tried to get it. Now Mueller has it. And I believe that's going to be a three-second violation against Park University. Eagles to inbound. Connor Verdugo. Past the half-court line. 16 minutes left to go in the second half. On the inside to Weir. He turns. He shoots. He doesn't score. Rebounding the ball is number 32, Mueller. Shorts over to Mattoon. Now to Norsworthy. Norsworthy coming inside. Makes the off-balance shot, and it's good. 56-43. Park trailing by 13. Connor Verdugo to Togiai. On the inside to Tebow. And that pass knocked away by Mattoon. Picked up by Bingham. And it looks like Tebow got the foul. So, Park University coming out a lot more aggressive here in the second half. Jake Klingler and Carter. Jake Klingler, Carter Koziak into the game now for Embry-Riddle. Take a little confusion there on who was supposed to be on the floor for Embry-Riddle. Kylan Shorts with it for the Bucks. On the inside to Mueller. Feeds that one to Shorts. Denied by Togiai. What a block by Christmas Togiai. He tries to go coast to coast. No, they're going to feed to Verdugo for three. No good. And rebounded by Mueller to Shorts. So the Eagles starting to struggle to make their shots fall. Norsworthy with a nice little fadeaway jumper, and it's good. 
And Park slowly but surely getting themselves back into this game. Christmas Togiai with it. Over to Koziak. Klingler on the inside of Togiai. Togiai up off the glass. It's good! Christmas Togiai with the ball. Matude will inbound for the Buccaneers with 14.37 left to go in the second half. And again, they're going to let the ball roll for a bit. Now Shorts finally picks it up. Matoon turns, shoots, doesn't score off the rim, but rebounded by Matoon. Gets that one to Bingham for three. No good off the rim. And Connor Verdugo gets the rebound and gives an elbow to Shorts. And someone's going to get fouled on that one. Not exactly sure who. Looks like that's going to be Kylan Shorts who gets nailed for the foul. Shorts and Verdugo. Oh, man, oh, man, they were bumping into one another, kind of doing imitations of race cars from the old Speed Racer cartoon. Third foul of the night for Shorts. Daniel Lewis into the game now for the Buccaneers. And coming out of the game, that will be Craig Mueller. Togi inbounds to Connor Verdugo. Over to Dunn. Dunn to Togi in the paint. Kicks that one out to Klingler for three. No good. And rebounded by Norsworthy. Mattoon to Norsworthy. Now Bingham for three. It's good! Sailing through the hoop for another three, and it's a 10-point game, 58-48. And running to the basket, and off the glass, it's Luke Dunn for two. Luke Dunn, well done. 60-48 Riddle. Bingham for three, no good. And Dunn gets the rebound. Now Togiai. Riddle passes around, Klingler for three, no good. Now Riddle was draining threes like crazy in the first half and not so much in the second half. And I think we got a whistle away from the ball. Looks like Carter Koziak gonna get called for the foul. Again, didn't see what that was. That was away from the ball. David Tebow back in the game for Embry-Riddle. As timeout called. 13-14 left to go in the second half. John Rust with you here for the play-by-play. Eagles up 60-48. to Park to inbound. Mattoon. Kelton Williams with it now. Williams. Looking for someone to pass it to. Gets it over to Norsworthy for three. In and out of the basket and rebounded by Trevor Weir to Togiai. Togiai hovering around the arc. Now he gets that one over to Chase Verdugo. To Tebow on the inside. Tebow moving toward the basket, taking the shot. Off the glass, it's good by David Tebow. 62-48 62-48 Embry-Riddle as they extend their lead. For three, Matoon, no good, and rebounded by Tebow. The rebound machine getting the ball back for Riddle. Over to Chase Verdugo. Klingler for three. No good off the rim, and rebounded by Matoon. Togiai trying to guard Matoon. He comes inside in the paint. Now it kicks that one out to Bingham. Back to Mattoon. Williams with the ball with 12 minutes to go in the second half. Williams tried to make his move on the inside. Cut off by Klingler. 
Bounce pass over to Norsworthy. Five seconds left on the shot clock. Norsworthy driving the basket, taking the shot. Nice reverse layup by John Norsworthy the third. And it's a 62-50 lead for Embry-Riddle. Pass on the inside to Weir. Weir under the basket. Nice one-handed shot there by Weir. 64-50, Embry-Riddle increases its lead. Kelton Williams with it. Now over to Bingham, back to Williams. Norsworthy from the corner for three. In and out of the basket and rebounded by Trevor Weir. The Tebow on the inside, loses the ball, picks it back up. Oh, but Weir steps out of bounds. Luke Dunn back in the ball game for Embry Riddle. Dunn with just three points tonight for the Eagles. Kelton Williams coming down the court. Williams still looking for his first points of the night. On the inside to Mueller, taking the shot. Denied by Trevor Weir. Weir putting up a wall in front of him. Chase Verdugo with the jumper. It's good. Mr. Lime Shoes, Chase Verdugo with the bucket. And timeout called for Park. Back to action here at the Riddle Activity Center in Prescott, Arizona. Everybody's hometown, as it's called. 5,000 feet above sea level here in Arizona. Williams with the ball, moving inside. And pass intercepted by T-Ball, but we do get a whistle on the play. Chase Verdugo picks up the foul, his first of the night. Park inbounds, Mueller over to Williams. Norsworthy gets it. Bingham, top of the key. Nine seconds left on the shot clock. Norsworthy driving to the basket through traffic. Bouncer over to Mueller. Mueller double team. Four seconds left. And charge called on Mueller as Tebow falls to the ground. And again, many uh, former Ember Riddle basketball players in the crowd here tonight. And they're screaming at uh, Park going, charge, 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 charge. Man, they're giving this place quite the atmosphere tonight. Got to give it up to them. On the inside to Tebow. Now to Chase Verdugo. Luke Dunn. Back to Verdugo. Togi Eye. Intercepted by Williams. Williams all alone in the paint. And Williams, the steal, and his first bucket of the night. Nice play there on defense and offense by Kelton Williams. And it's 66-52 Embry-Riddle. T-ball on the inside. Turns, shoots, doesn't score. Trevor Weir gets the rebound. Weir through traffic, takes the shot. Still no good. Battle for the ball. And I think Weir might pick up a foul there. Or, no, I think they're just going to say the ball went out of bounds. No, actually, they're going to give Weir the foul. First foul of the night called against Trevor Weir. Park University gets the ball. 9.30 remaining here in the second half. 66-52. Eagles on top. Williams. Oh, and a carrying call against Williams. And the uh, former Riddle basketball players informing Williams that he did carry the ball in case he missed that. Tebow, top of the key, feeds it inside to Verdugo. And Verdugo with the jumper for two. 68-52, 68-52, Embry-Riddle with nine minutes to go in the second half. Bingham with the ball for Park. Now Williams feeds it inside to Mueller. Mueller gets the pass, and off the glass and out of bounds it goes. Oh, man. Bingham down on the floor. Checking for 
Hopefully he's going to be okay. And uh, Al Bingham gets helped up by uh, Tebow and also by Kelton Williams. So it looks like Bingham is fine. And again, a nice show of sportsmanship there by David Tebow helping out uh, the opposing player. And it looks like Park has been given a bench warning. Either way, Park will inbound. Mueller trying to get through traffic. One-handed shot. No good. Mueller trying to get the rebound. Loose ball. David Tebow gets it, then loses it, then gets it back. And try to get it to Verdugo, but intercepting it is Mattoon. And for three, Bingham. It's good. Jacob Bingham with another tray. 68-55. And Connor Verdugo off the glass for two. And a good way for Ember Riddle answer back after that Bingham three. Kelton Williams with the ball. Mattoon inside, dishes it out to Norsworthy. He's coming inside. Off balance shot, no good, but it looks like Norsworthy got fouled making that shot. Jacob Bingham, seven three pointers tonight as Norsworthy. Hits that one off the rim. No dice for him on that free throw. 70-55. Embry-Riddle on top. Norsworthy connects on that free throw. So it's 70-56. As Park University trying to chip away at this Eagle lead. Loose ball. Connor Verdugo picks it back up on the inside of Dunn. Dunn, double team. Out to Verdugo. For three. It's good. Action correction, that was Chase Verdugo who got that three-pointer. 73-56 Riddle, Mattoon. And Bingham with his eighth tray of the night. Done. Dishes that one off. Verdugo gets it on the outside, moves in to Tebow. Back to Chase Verdugo for three. No good and rebounded by Mueller. Williams for three, Bingham. No good, rebounded by Connor Verdugo. And Connor Verdugo got clipped in the head by an elbow, but play continues anyway. Verdugo kind of slowing things down a little bit here with seven minutes left to go in the second half. Done. Moves inside, back out to Connor Verdugo. He comes into the paint. The jumper, no good. Rebounded by Mueller. Over to Mattoon. Mattoon into the paint. Reverse layup, no good. Rebounded by Tebow. The rebound machine comes through again. Verdugo for three. No good. Tebow got a hand on it, couldn't pull it in. And it is Norsworthy with the ball for Park. Into the paint, taking the shot. And it looks like Norsworthy got fouled going up. Connor Verdugo picks up his third foul of the game. Six twenty-six left to go here in the second half. Norsworthy at the line. He hits on that one. 13 points tonight for John Norsworthy. Christmas Togiai back in the game for the Eagles. Norsworthy, second shot, and that one is good. 61, 73, 61, Park trailing by 12. Connor Verdugo with the ball near the Riddle logo. And again, Riddle looks like they're trying to slow things down here. Now to Dunn. Ten seconds left on the shot clock. And oh, Verdugo, an off-balance pass that goes way over the head of Dunn. Six 
Still, Riddle did take some time off the clock. Six minutes to go in regulation. For three, Northsworthy. No good. And grabbing the rebound, it's Verdugo. Verdugo gets knocked around. No call. To Tebow. Tebow going into the paint. Off the glass. No good. Rebounded by Norsworthy. Shorts moves inside. The jumper comes up short. Tebow gets it over to Togiai. Chase Verdugo to Connor Verdugo. Long range three. It's good! Connor Verdugo nailing it from a whole other Verdugo family. They have a sister who also ran track at Hamline University. And Shorts lets the ball roll and roll and roll. Finally picks it up. Bingham from the corner. Whistle on the play. Chase Verdugo gets called for the foul. Park is in the bonus. And Jacob Bingham up to the line. Bingham misses on that one. Tebow with the rebound to Verdugo. Now to Togiai. Togiai inside. Kicks it out to Chase Verdugo. Over to his brother, Connor. Chase Verdugo backs out on the inside of Togiai. Seven seconds left on the shot clock. Togiai goes for the shot. No good. Battle for the ball. Bodies bumping around, but no call there. Norsworthy. Now over to Bingham. Bingham at the baseline. Taking the shot off the glass. No good. Battle for the ball. I thought that went out of bounds. And Tebow gets the rebound. Players fall to the ground. And it looks like Luke Dunn got the worst of it. And I think it's going to be Kyle Shorts who gets called for the foul. Dunn will take it out with 4.32 remaining in regulation. 76-61 Riddle. Dunn coming out of the game. Trevor Weir back in for the Eagles. Christmas Togiai inbounds it to Connor Verdugo. Now back to Togiai. Back to Verdugo. Pass the half court line. Guarded by Shorts. Tebow. Back to Verdugo. Now over to Weir. Weir kicks that one out to Togiai. Again, Riddle kind of taking their time here. Togiai to the basket. Off the glass. No good and rebounded by Mueller. If anything, at least Riddle taking some time off the clock here. Norsworthy thought about a shot. Couldn't get a clear one. Shorts for three. It's good. 76-64 now the score. Park trails by 12. 350 to go in regulation. Togiai long pass to Tebow. To Chase Verdugo for three. It's good. Chase Verdugo. A big three there by Verdugo, making it 79-64 Riddle. Norsworthy goes for three. In and out of the basket and out of bounds. But it will be park possession. Kelton Williams back in the game for Park University. Matude will take it out. The shorts for three all by himself. No good. Tebow with the rebound. Tebow fights off both Mattoon and Mueller. One of those guys is going to get a foul. I think it's going to be number 22, Carson Mattoon. That's Mattoon's first foul of the night. 3.21 to go in regulation. Togiai gets it out to Verdugo. Back to Verdugo. Chase Verdugo with it now. Back to his brother, Connor. He comes inside to the paint, taking the shot off the glass. It's good! And Connor Verdugo gets fouled going up. 
81-64 in favor of the Eagles. And Connor Verdugo will have a chance for a three-point play. And the foul will be against Kyle Shorts. That is his fifth foul of the night. And well, everyone say good night to Kyle, to Kylan Shorts. John Norsworthy back in the game for Park. Verdugo to the line with 3.07 left in regulation. It's good. 82-64. Riddle extends its lead. Kelton Williams with the ball for Park. Norsworthy. Bingham for three. Rainbow shot into the net. Yet another tray for Jacob Bingham. Now Verdugo losing the ball. Stolen by Williams. Over to Mattoon. Bingham inside. Running jump shot, it's good, and timeout called by Park University. So that's a 79, a 13-point lead. Maybe I should just use the calculator on my phone. Verdugo, past the half court line, gets run into, and no call. And a three-pointer by Norsworthy, no good. Loose ball, picked up by Norsworthy. Norsworthy, denied by Weir. Parked inbound with 2.23 remaining in regulation. And loose ball, out of bounds it goes. And they're going to say it's park possession. Well, the Riddle fans disagree with that vehemently. Williams to Bingham on the inside to Mueller. Turn, shoots. No good. Loose ball. Rebounded by Weir. Bounces over to Connor Verdugo. Now to Togiai. To Verdugo. Makes his move into the paint. Takes a shot off the glass, no good. Rebounded by Park. A buck 55 to go in regulation for three. Mattoon, no good. Shit, Connor Verdugo with the rebound. Togiai with the ball now for Embry Riddle. Bumped into his Togiai, no call. And timeout called by Connor Verdugo. Man, oh man, name of the College of New Jersey. Anyone from College of New Jersey listening to this, it's always going to be Trenton State to me. I didn't even go there, but my dad did, so. Togiai, get you to Verdugo. <laughs> and Norsworthy kind of runs into Verdugo, but no call. Togiai runs into the paint, off the glass, no good. Fight for the ball. Williams comes up with it. Williams with a pass over to Mattoon for three. It's good. Ten-point game, 82-72. Togiai with it. See if the Eagles try to slow it down. Block called on Park. Kelton Williams getting called for the foul, his third of the night. I think Williams has taken exception to uh, some taunting from a Riddle fan, letting the referee know about it. Togiai with the ball. Over to Verdugo. One minute, one minute left to go in regulation. Out to Togiai. Eight seconds left on the shot clock. Loose ball. Bingham picks it up. Now Williams, over to Mattoon for three. No good, rebounded by Weir with that great wingspan of his. Oh man, and a horse collar tackle on Connor Verdugo by Jacob Bingham. Well, that's gonna get called a foul. 
Carter Koziak. Romano Solis into the game for Embry Riddle. Riddle in the bonus. And this will bring Connor Verdugo up to the free throw line. Ten points tonight for Verdugo. 41 ticks left to go in regulation. Verdugo hits it. 83-72, an 11-point lead for Verdugo. Hey, I didn't even have to pause and do the math on that one. I'm proud of myself. Second shot by Verdugo. That one connects. 84-72, 84-72, Riddle. 39 seconds left to go in regulation. Norsworthy feeds that one to Mattoon. Traveling the call on Mattoon. And I don't think Mattoon likes that. Or excuse me, uh, Norsworthy. I don't think he likes that call one bit. Jack Berg into the game for Embry-Riddle. He will inbound to Verdugo. Verdugo pass the half-court line to Berg. Berg going for a three. It's good! Jack Berg just checks into the game and nails a tray. For three from long range. No good by Bingham. Rebound by Verdugo. And Verdugo gets fouled. 16 seconds left to go as... Christmas Togiai slapping hands with some of the former Riddle players in the stands right now. Connor Verdugo to the line. It's good. 88-72 Embry-Riddle. Next shot is also good. 89-72, 89-72, 15 seconds to go. Park with the ball. Kelton Williams is kind of taking his time now. He's just going to stand there and dribble. And for the first time in three months, Embry Riddle is in the win column. Final score tonight.